Father, we thank you because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And when sin is kept out of our hearts, there will be joy. And Father, we are praying that the decisions of our hearts, which the members of the choir have sung about, that thy word were hiding our hearts, that we may not sin against thee, so that our joys may be full. We are praying that you do it for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Open our eyes this morning. Lead us in the path of righteousness and truth. And give us the victory we are looking for. In Jesus' name we pray. As we said last month, uh, last uh, Sunday, yeah. we are declaring this month of June as a month of victory. And last Sunday we talked on the principles or ingredients for victory. We talked on the necessity of the word of God. And we emphasize reading the word of God. Learning the word of God. Listening to the word of God. Meditating on the word of God. Observing to do and to act on the word of God. So that there will be victory in our marital lives, personal life, business life, and spiritual lives. We also emphasize praying to God. Praying from the heart unto God for what we need. Standing on the promises while we are praying. We talked on the necessity of faith, believing God, trusting God, having full hope hearted confidence in God. And we talked on loving everybody and loving God. Where these four things are found, there ought to be victory because the word of God promises victory to those who read, learn and meditate and act on the word of God, who pray with faith and who love God and love one another. Now this morning we're examining something very serious in the word of God. I want to remind you that God promised the children of Israel a land flowing with milk and honey. Now you know that uh, there is an image of you that you have. And there is an an image you are looking forward to. You have a picture of what the promises of God um, will make you to be when you attend to, when you observe, or when you receive those promises fulfilled in your life. Here you are in your present state, and there that thing is, which is your victory ahead, promised by the word of God. And I want you to realize that with the children of Israel, they were coming out of Egypt and victory for them meant getting into the land of Canaan. When they got into the land of uh, victory, or land of Canaan, that was victory for them. All the Israelites had the promises of getting to the land of Canaan and settling there. All the children of Israel had victory promised for them ahead of them. At a particular time, some few chosen elders got to that land only once and they returned. They saw the land. They saw the city. They saw that it was exactly as God promised. But they did not stay there. They came back to Israel to give them the information. 
it is true there is victory ahead the land of Canaan is waiting for those who will occupy that land won ko duro si ile yesu mo won pada lati mu ihin to awon ti o ran won lo so nwa wi pe bi olorun se so gan ni ori ile na o lora o si to bi lopopopo ile isegun ni to nro de wa the majority of the children of Israel never saw it ogo ra won mo Israel ko riri these few chosen men they went there they stayed there for a brief moment of time they came back I want to remind you that Moses himself was privileged to go to the mountain and then he saw the land afar off. Moses first of all back now we came Moses well o ni anfani lati gun ori oke lo ki o si ri ile na ni oke rere he talked about it o soro ni pare he encouraged people getting there o gba awon eniyan ni oju lati debe but he himself never settled in that place sugba o n pelu ko fi gba kan fi di kale ni and then we have two people uh, Joshua and Caleb awa ni awon okuri meji Joshua ati Caleb they had the promises won ni awon ile ri they went with the chosen elders to see the land to see the victory and then they came back won lo pelu awon agbagba Israel ti lati lo wo ile na ati lati pada and after 40 years of delay those two men eventually settled on that land they got the victory lehin ogoje odun 80 nkan fi fale die e awon okunrin meji won yi joshua ati kalebu won de ile isegun yi i want to help you this morning by looking at many passages of scripture most if eran olowo la ro yi nipa we wo awon ese we mo pupo i talk to you about four categories of people mo ti ba so nipa awon egbe yin amerin number one, all the israelites who, who had the promise ahead of them but they never got there e kini awon gbogbo awon israelites ti won ni ileri olorun na sugba ti won ko de ile na number two, few chosen men who got to the place for a, a brief moment and came back but they did not have permanent enjoyment of the victory e keji ni awon awon kan ti ayan nipa to lati lo so ti ki won ipada sugba to je pe won ko ni igbadun ibe titi e pe lo titi number 3 the one the individual that gets to the mountain of spirituality once in a lifetime and sees the promises and he rejoices and he knows that God is a God of love a God of truth a God of sincerity a God who has said so and will do it but he died on that mountain seeing it but never really stepping his feet on it eh sugba won tu eh atun so ni pa okunrin kan na pelu to je pe o ga ni pa ti emi ti o gun ori oke na lo ni pa ti emi tori ile na tori awon ile na tori pe olorun je olorun otitu ati olorun ododo to je pe to ba so be a ma se be ori ile na sugba lori oke ni bi to ti ri ile yi loku si number 4 josh eh josh Joshua and Caleb who saw it who received it who got into that place and got the victory but after 40 years of delay eh ekerin Caleb ati Joshua to je pe won e won ri won gba ileri na won o si se ninu aye won to je pe won de ile na sugbon ko to ri pe won de ibe o je ogoje odun ti afi dawo ti afi fasen generally the congregation where you are can delay your victory even when you are all heartedly wanting to follow the lord when you want to reach the land when you want to get there but their unbelief their fear and their reservation their discouragement all around you can delay you for four years for 40 years or for 50 years before getting to that place won ko igba awon eniyan ti o wa laarin won awon ijo eniyan ti o wa laarin won won le mu ki ileri na ki o fa seyin die e boya fun odun merin ni tabi odun ma tabi ju be lo nitori aigbagbo won nitori iye meji won ati nitori awon kan ti won mu ba o now let's see exodus chapter 12 verse 37 e je ki awo exodus ori keji lase iketa di logoji exodus 12 verse 37 exodus ori keji lase iketa di logoji and the children of israel journeyed from ramses to sukkot about 6 Hundred thousand on foot that were men beside or without children. Our master is in Lati Ramesses in Lossi Sukotu. Wanto iwa ogba oke lese okunrin ile aye ka omode Let's look at Numbers chapter 11. Eje ka wonu mere ori kokan la. Verse 21. Ese ikokan le logun. And Moses said the people among whom I am are 6 Hundred thousand foot men. Moses said, "We pay a wain yon na la ni a wain eni ti e miwa je ogma oke elese." So you have six hundred thousand men, adults, and God gave them the promise of a land flowing with milk and honey, where all their spiritual, material, physical needs will all be fulfilled, 
and they will enjoy fellowship with God and with one another unmolested by any enemy within or without. Six hundred thousand men who will be blessed when they go out, when they come in, who will be blessed when they get married, who will be blessed in whatever they lay their hands upon, and their land will be flowing with milk and honey. There will be rain coming from heaven, there will be sunshine at the appropriate time, and there will not, not be sickness in the midst of them. Six hundred thousand men. They are the promise of victory ahead. Okay, let's say chapter 13. Verses 26 and 27. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it flows with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Once in law, once a musewa, a tiaruni, a tibugu, a jaw, a mesreli, ni ju parani, ni kadeshi. Once in mu or a padat, once in more of a padat, a tibugu, a jaw, once in fierce will and no hammer, once in roof, once in we pay, a wad day and none, nibiti, what burn our law, nito, leon shank, umwara, a tifuni, a easy lay so. Those were the few men that went into the land. They saw the victory and they came back to report, saying, The victory is there. If we can only get there, we'll get the victory. Those are the men that have temporary enjoyment of the blessing and they are able to tell their neighbors, It is true, we enjoyed it. Temporarily, we stayed in the place temporarily. We got to that victory, we saw it, we enjoyed it for a brief moment of time. And we can tell you the victory is there. Those are the men that in Deuteronomy chapter 34, verses 1 to 4. You know, and Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan. 34, verse 1. Moses said, Moses said, Moses said, Moses said, Moses said, Moses said, See Ori Pisga, see O Doju Kajeriko, Luasi, Uluasi, Fi, Bubuile, Gilead, De, Dani, huh? The Lord showed him all the land of Gilead, unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, unto the uttermost sea, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, and the city of palm trees, unto Zohar. Ati Bobo Naphtali, Ati Ephraim, Ati Mana, Ati Timanasi, Ati Bubuile, Judah. De o kwen wa onu ati gusu ati petele afuni foji jeriko ilu Allah pe de suari. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land. Olu asi wi fun pe iyini ilet. Nobody ever saw it like Moses saw it. Because the people that went, the few men I told you about, which I read about in Numbers chapter 13, they just got to a part of the land. But God told Moses to come up to the mountain. And he showed him the length and the breadth. And he showed him the circumference of the perimeter. And he showed him everywhere that you can think about. And he said, Moses, this is the land. Most of you get be when numero riketa la ni biti atika we pay and one or kuniti ana lo si le no. A kwa kan inu le no ni one lady shuma mose ori bobo ile no bio sheri ori 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 gigunre ati bure ori bobo ayikare bio sheri ati bo rure ati bio shetobito 
He could write about it. Ole ko wi ni pare. He could tell stories about it. Ole so itan ni pare. He could preach about it. Ole wa su ni pare. There are scholars today. Awon ni majile awon omo we si wa loni. They have got to the mountain top. Tu ma ti lo sori oke. They know there is victory. Won ma pe ise gun be. In every area of man's life they know that the victory is there. Ni gbogbo ona ni no igbesi aye ni pe ise gun be fun. The Lord has shown them the breadth and the height and the, and the length of the promises of God of the victory are waiting all believers. Oluwa ti fi eh fi giga ati ati ibu ati bi ilede olorun bi o se tobi to fun awon mo re they know about the victory spiritual work with god won mo won mo nipa isegun ti o nbe fun awon ti o ba ni nipa they know about a victory of spiritual combat against satan won mo nipa isegun wa ti an ba isu jagun they know about the perfect marriage that every believer is supposed to have there is an ideal perfect marriage it is victory and it is possible won mo nipa ti igbeyawo ti o dara ti o si se san to ya ki gbogbo eniyan ni pe o dara pe o si se se they know about the victory we can have in spiritual life with all believers with fellowship and love and joy and peace and the fullness of the the development of the fullness of the fruit of the spirit they know it and they can write about it won si mo nipa isegun nipa ti emi ti o ni gbagbo le ni ni dapo pelu ara won ati pelu olorun ati pelu bi won se le ma je asegun ninu igbese aye won nipa ti emi they know about the promise that god has given us in our business endeavor to be prospered as our soul prospers and for god to provide for us more than he provides for the lilies in the valley they know about it won mo nipa isegun ele ti ale ni nipa ti ise wa wi pe ki ise owo wa ki o ma dara si bi o se dara fun emi wa ati pe ki olorun si ma pese fun abi o se n pese fun awon lili to nbe ninu igbe they know about the promise of personal happiness that your joy may be full they, that you may have life and have it in abundance that you may reign in life by the grace of god they know that possibility of victory in personal happiness won mo nipa ise se fun eniyan lati ni isegun nipa ti nipa ti igbe si aye re wi pe ki o le ni ayo ani ki o le ni ilekun re ra ni ki o si le ni iye ani ki o le ni lopopopo pelu jesus christ they know about the possibility of being successful in christian work and christian service won ma ni pa sise se wi pe ki eniyan ki o si asiyo ri ninu ise christian ati ise se victory in seven different areas one is spiritual work with god isegun ni ori si ni ona meji ototo yi ni pe isegun ninu ninu igbisa ire ni pa ti ara two victory in spiritual combat against sin and satan ekeji isegun ni pa iba isu jagun ati iba ise jagun victory in marriage having the perfect ideal victorious marriage that has been promised in the word of god eketa isegun ni pa ti igbeyawo yi ni pe ki eyan ni igbeyawo ti o dara ti o si pe loju olorun number 4 wonderful fellowship and relationship with all believers all around e kerin idapo agbaya nu pelu gbogbo awon ni gbagbo ati awon to wa lai ka number 5 the promise of victory and the promise of success and prosperity and wealth in your business endeavor e kerin isegun ati asiyo ri ninu ohun to ba dawo le ati ise ati owo re yi ti o nse number 6 happiness and joy and peace and love satisfaction and content in your personal life that your joy may be full that you may live the abundant life the life of heaven on earth eh ke fa yi na ni pe ki o le ma gbadun igbesi aye re nipa ti eh nipa ti ara yi ni pe eh ki o le ni iye lopopopo ati ki o si le ni idunu ati ayo lopopopo ninu aye ni and you know number 7 to be successful as a pastor as an evangelist or as an as a teacher in any christian endeavor or work god has given you to be successful and to have fruit of your labor e ke je ki e gege bi olusu agota tabi eni to to je osi je christian ki o ba le ni asiyo ri sire ninu ise christian ire ati ise sire ti o da wole lati ma se like moses these scholars and these preachers can get to the mountain and write about it talk about it preach about it but they never are able themselves to settle on that land of victory in all the seven fold areas gaga bi ti mose awon ni wa su awon olusu agota won yi e won le won le lo si ori oke ori oke na ki won kan ri ile na ki won ri awon ile ri na ki won ri isegun na ki won le ko we ni pare ki won wa su ni pare ki won si so ni pare sugbon ki awon pelu ma le fi idi kale si bi isegun yi and there are few people as have said joshua and kele awon iwon ba eniyan die si wa bi mo se so joshua ati kele very very few iwon ba awon eniyan die perege in the christian world ninu e ninu aye christian among readers of the bible la ri awon to nka bibele la ri awon olusi who have the attitude and the discipline and the desire and eventually they got to that land they enjoyed it victory in all areas of their lives but they were delayed by the congregation around them ti won ni iwa ati iko ya ni janu ati aniyan lati le ide ile na to si je pe won de be ni gbo se sugbon to je pe won ni daduro die fun eh fun ikan bi ogojo nuko to di pe won de be ni to la i want to tell you from the word of god the congregation where you worship can either slow down or speed up 
you're getting into the land of victory. Most of us are for I am winning. So Tim Jossi, one lay Muki did they ill shagun ready day like an ear, Kyo Yakakan, Tabi Kyofa saying. Let me show you the promises of God that fulfill all your desires in these seven areas I've talked about. Yaki if you are my lady or long to you mubo and one a if I know one chef more in Todd John. The third epistle of John, Epistle to Hanuketa, verse two. S A K G. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Olufe, a mimba dura kweni no ngogo kio lema dara fuo kio si ma kio si ma wani lira anibioti dara fuo kare. You know you can get beyond singing. Ole, kwa mo dojo kwa ma kore. You can get beyond singing the song that it is well, it is well with my soul, and you can get into the real experience of it that it is well with your soul. Seven days a week, all the weeks of the year, all the years of your life. Ole, reko ja ipe kio ma kore kio dara fuo kame eh kio si reko ja eh ben ne kwati eh kio wa kio wa dimi mu. Ni ayere ipe ni bobo ojo aye mi o dara fun okan mi ni bobo eh osu to nbe laarin odun ati gbogbo odun to nbe ninu aye re because this is the provision of god for the beloved of god for the believers i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper that's in business and be in health that's in your body healing and health as your soul prospereth, that's your spiritual life. Eleni, ni ileri olorun ti ti o wa fun o wi pe ki o le ma wa ni ilera eyi o wa fun ara re ki o si ma dara fun o eh fun o kan re eyi ni pe ki eh nipa ti ohun ti o ba dawo le ati ki o si le ma dara fun o kan re nipa ti emi. And in first John chapter 5 verse 4. Johanna kini ori karun ese ikerin. For whosoever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory. That overcomes the world, even our faith. Ni tori olukuluk e ni to ban ti abi ni pati olon o shegun aye. Iyi si ni shegun ti o shegun aye ani igbagbo wa. In Second Peter chapter one verses three and four. Peteru kini ori keji ese iketa ti ikerin. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to victory. Uh, sorry to glory and virtue. Second Peter one three and four. Nipa e iti ati ni bi agbara re bi olorun ti fi fun wa le ohun gbogbo ti se ti yi ati wa bi olorun nipa e meni ti o pe wa nipa ogo ati olanla re nipa e ti o fi ti o ti fi awon ileri ti o ti to bi pupo ti o si se ye bi ye fun wa pe nipa e won yi ki eyin ki o le di alaba pe ninu iwa olorun nigba ti e ba ti yo kuro ninu ibaje tin be ninu aye nipa e forces whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature what a great inheritance awaits believers o hun ni nla ni to nduro di awon ni gbagbo and in John chapter 16, verses 23 and 24, I'm just showing you that the victory in all the seven areas I've told you about is for every believer. But you want to know that not all believers are getting it. A few of the believers get in for a brief moment of time and they're out of it again. And a few of the believers are able to get to the mountain top of study and devotion and they see it afar but they never really reach it and stay there and enjoy permanently. I want him back, but there one lady they know if you are around the he just it to me or you can not once he lost it back one issue. But come out, don't even a titty comes in my bad or a comes in my jam for nearly. And the two out of 600,000 that ever get it, they get it after 40 years of delay. What a pity for them. A KG of my okay, near to JP, one year, but never to ya out of 600,000. Make you lining of my cow of my okay, near to JP, one day, but okay, football, put your decay, one day, but ocean. And in John chapter 16, verses 23 and 24. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. He that will have ye ask nothing. In my name, ask. And ye shall receive that your joy may be full. At ati ni jo na yi, and you and you kiwa bimile 
lo ta lo ta ni mo wi fun yin ohun ko ti eyin ba bere lowo baba le oruko mi ohun o fi fun yin titi di sisin e ko ti bere ohun ko le oruko mi e bere e o si ri gba ki ayo yin ki o le Matthew chapter 18 verses 18 and 19 Matthew ori keji din logun ese keji din logun ati kokan din logun Verily I say unto you whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall loose on the earth shall be loosed in heaven again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on us as touching anything that they ask it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven lo to ni mo wi fun yin ohun ko ti eyin ba bere ti eyin ba de le aye a o de le orun ohun ko ti eyin ba si tu le aye a o tu le orun mo wi fun yin e we pe bi eni meji ninu yin ba fi ohun sokan le aye le aye yi ni to ohun ko ti won o bere a o se fun won lati oro baba mi tin be le orun wa chapter 11 verses 18 and 21 Deuteronomy ori kokan la ese ikeji din logun ati kokan le logun Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 18 and verse 21 Deuteronomy ori kokan la ese ikeji din logun ati kokan le logun Therefore shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul and bind them for a sign upon your hand that they may be as frontless between your eyes E fi oro mi won yi si aya yin ati si okan yin ki e si so won mo owo yin fun ami ki won ki o si ma se oja ibaju ni waju yin verse 21 that your days may be multiplied and the days of your children in the land which the lords were unto your fathers to give them as the days of heaven Ese upon the earth ese kokan le logun ki ojo yin ki o le ma po si ati ojo awon mo yin ni ile na ti oluwa bura fun awon baba yin lati fi fun won bi ojo orun lori ile aye and so you can see from the promises of bread unto you nitori na o le ri lati na awon ile ri timothy ka se ti gbo re the great possibilities that you have she 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 nla ki ti oni the great victory ahead of every one of us as believers isegun nla ti o nbe ni waju gbogbo wa gege bi oni gbagbo you can see the will of god for your spiritual life for your business life for your personal life and for your marital life o le ri ile ri olorun the question you are asking is why I, I sit up on that most Christians never have been able to get into that victory. The question you want to ask is why only few are able to get in for a brief moment come out of it and never enter it anymore for life. Ibere ti o si le bere ni pe ki lode to je pe awon Christian die ni won le de ni won le de ibe ko won si dro sibe fun sa die ko won si jade ko ma tun le de be mo. The question you are asking is why is it that maybe only one in thousands of people are able to get to the mountain see it and even that person never steps upon it never stays there never enjoys it even though he's writing about it and teaching about it. Ibere ti o si le ma bere lokan re ni pe ki lode to le je pe okan ninu e bi egberun awon eniyan lo le lo si lo le lo si ori oke lati pe ki won wo ibe ki won ma si lo si ibe won ma fi di kale ni be ko ma gbadun to nbe ni be o ti le ye pe won le so ni pare won le ko we ni pare and you asking the question why very very few very very few are able to get there and settle there only after many 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 years of delay by the congregation where they are o tu le ma bere yi pe ki lo de to je pe won ba awon eniyan die lo le de lo le de ibe ki won gbadun be ki won si joko ni be sugbon ile wa sele leyin to je pe and the question you want to ask which is personal is what has been delaying me I've seen the promises of God. I've seen that God is a good God. I've seen the desires of God for me. I've seen the will of God for me. What's delaying me from getting into the victory that God has promised for me? Why am I not in the present enjoyment of the promises of God to have victory in every area of my life? Think about it. That you, as an individual, as a believer, will be able to walk with God from now till you see Jesus face to face without a cloud between you, without a moment of defeat, without a moment of backsliding, just walking step by step, walking spiritually, pleasing God every day of your life. And it is possible. But why is it not realistic right now? 
ti si sin lo titi wa firi Jesu Kristi lojuko oju to be ge ti ko ni si ohun ide na kan ni waju re ti ko ni si iku na kan kan ni waju re ti ko ni si iku ku kan ti o fe lati isubo ti wa si ma ni isegun kilode think about it that you can have spiritual combat and overcome every time you meet a temptation or a trial or sickness or sin or you meet the arch enemy of man and god satan every moment of your life and it is possible but why is it not present realization for you iwo ro ni pare pe ki lo de ti awon nkan won ti ko be si ma se lowo lo fun ni sisin pe o le ni isegun ninu ona kan na ninu nko to ba fe de ba o yala ki ese fe don wo ni tabi ki esu ti se o ta lorun ati o ta eniyan ki o fe gbogun ti o ki o si fe don wo now you can have victory in all these areas o le ni isegun ni gbogbo awon ona won yi but let me show you the things that delay people ki gba je ki fi awon kan ti o nda awon eyan duro ha and it is important for you to see these areas in your life o si se pataki ki iwo pelu ki o e ki o ri gbogbo awon kan won yi ninu aye re you're married and you are saying is there an ideal marriage a perfect marriage a victorious marriage a happy marriage anywhere oh yes it's in the bible it be transferred to your life that's what i want to show you bi o ba ti se gbeyawo to si nbere pe nje ale ni gbeyawo to pe to si dara to si je ele to mu nu eni dubi Benny, oh, I know, be Billy, Jack and Fiho. You're walking for God and you want to have victory and success, and you say, Where is the victory? That's exactly why we're here this morning. Oh, she shall fall alone, oh, she pay Jamule Nish, I can bend all the Nish, I can do that, and it's happy one in Laro. And in your business, you lay your hand on this, it collapses. You lay your hand on that, and it it's get through it. You lay your hand on this, and all your money says goodbye to you, and there is no money anymore. You're always in the red, in the bank. How can I change that and become victorious and prosperous? That's why you are here. Oh, 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 on da wole ise bi o ba se n da wole ele lo n baje bi o se n da wole ton ni o n baje to be ge to je pe ise lo tun wa wonu ngbese o wi pe ba o ni a wa se le mu ele kuro ki si wa ni isegun ninu ise mi idi re ni ta bi wa ni hin la ro yi now numbers chapter 13 let's go back there numero ori keta la je ki a pada si be verse 28 and verse 31 ese ikeji din ni ogbon ati kokan li logbon nevertheless the people be strong that dwell in the land and the cities are walled and very great and moreover we saw the children of Anak there sugbon alagbara ni awon eniyan tin gbe inu ile na ilo olodi si ni ilu won won to bi gidigidi ati pelu pelu awari awon ma Anaki ni be my brother my sister do you know something arakun arabirin mi njo mo nkan before the amalekites defeated israel ki awon ara amaleki to segu awon israel before the children of anak defeated israel ki awon anaki to segu awon israel their own thoughts defeated them ero ti won ti segun won it is not the devil that defeats most christians ki se isu lo segu awon opolopo christian it is their thoughts they are thinking their meditation they are walking by side that defeats them ero won asaro won ati pe ki won ma rin nipa tun won fojuri lo segun It is not the in-law that defeats your marriage that takes away your happiness in marriage it is your thought that defeats you for ki se ana re on lo segun re tabi to mu idunu re ati ayo re kuro ninu igbeyawo eru re lo kon segun re it is not sickness that has paralyzed many people it is their own thought their mental attitude in life they approach to everything they are sort of the enemy they are sort of satan they are sort of defeat that has defeated them before the day of battle ki se ki se o ta ni o so opolopo di aro ninu aye bi ko se ero won ati bi won se ndoju kon awon nkan ti won se ninu aye ati bi won se njagun ti won wi pe won ja ninu aye o na lo nso won de duarin they thought they were powerless they became powerless won suro wi pe won ja lai lagbara won ja lai lagbara they thought they will never overcome they never overcame won lero wi pe won ko ni le isegun won ko fi gba kan segun they thought they were grasshoppers they became grasshoppers won lero wi pe lenga ni won won si die lenga they thought they will never succeed that they never succeeded won lero wi pe won ni sase ori won ko si gba kan sase they thought they will never be able to face the enemy and they could never face the enemy won lero wi pe won ko le do Jude call ta won ko sile do Jude they saw they will perish in the wilderness and they all died in the wilderness won lero pe won yo se gbe sinu aginju won si se gbe sinu aginju it is not the devil that killed them in the wilderness esu ko lo pa won sinu aginju the amalekites and the children of anak the giants did not come to kill them in the wilderness awon ara amaleki awon awon omiran ki se pe awon lo wa pa won sinu aginju their own very thoughts killed and destroyed them and they perished without having the victory ero ti won ninu won ohun lo pa won lai je pe won ni isegun in short they were walking by sight and they perished without the victory because of walking by side how do you want ni pon tun won fi oduri ni pa be won se gbe ni pon tun won fi oduri how do you see ba lo se ni all this marriage will never go well because i know my mother in law my father in law doesn't love me igbe yawo e ko ni lo daada ni tori pe mo ma pe ana mi okunrin ana mi obirin won ko feran mi i know that i will never make it in this business because i know all the co-workers you know they just don't like me and i know that i will never succeed there that's your thought and you have it mo ma pe ninu ise ti mo nse n ko ti le le ise ase ori kan ni tori pe 
gbogbo awon la ba sise mi ko si okan ninu won to feran mi e o ti ro be yo si ri be fun and you know your spiritual life you been learning about backsliders and those who didn't finish it and all the time you are saying well the christian life is difficult i will never make it your source has defeated you ni ninu 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 aye re ni party christian o ti o ti ngbo nipa awon eyan to npada sey wa be si ro pe ah bi awon eyan se npada sey n ko ro pe emi a le la ja ni temi nitori pe rage na o da be ni pe o le o ti ro o si yo si but the men that went up with him said we be not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we sugbon awon okunrin ti o ba agoke lo wi pe awa ko le igoke tu awon eyan na lo nitori te nitori ti won lagbara juwa lo your mental attitude is isn't that is uh, the problem for you iro opolo re o na ni wahala re i told you during the time of study scripture that you can only think on one thing at a time mo so fun ni akoko wa inu we mo wi pe o yin kan yin kan yo kan so lo le ronu le lori le kan so if you spend all your life thinking about defeat how can you succeed bi o ba fi gbogbo igbe saye re ronu lori ijakule ba oni wa se ni segun so the thing that defeated them is walking by by side ni sori na won to segun won ni pe won rin nipa won fojuri they were not keeping the promised goal before them won ko fi won ko mu ileri pe won test waju se ninu aye won and they were not able to answer the question what am i living for won ko si le nu mu ibere ise pe kini idi re ti mo fi wa lai and because of that confusion setting e ni tori na ru kerudo sele and they were not able to get to the land that god had promised them won ko si le de ile ti olorun ti se leri fun won number 2 they had the fear of man within them e keji won ni ibero eniyan lokan won in numbers chapter 13 ninu we numero ri keta and in verse 31 won ka se kokan le niyan ogbon but the men went that went up we seem said we be not able to go up against the people for to um for they are stronger than we that's a fear of man sugbon awon okunrin ti o ba goke lo wi pe awa ko le igoke to awon eniyan na lo nitori ti won lagbara juwa lo eru eniyan ni proverbs chapter 29 verse 25 iwe owo ri kokan di logbon ese ke dogbon proverbs 29 verse 25 iwe owo ri kokan di logbon ese ke dogbon You know that with most people a spear that will not allow them to even rise up and face life squarely and become successful and victorious. Oh my pe fun awon elomiran iberu ni koni je ki won dide ki won si doju ijako awon kan tin be ninu aye ki won si segun. The sinner fears where there is no fear but what believers are afraid. E awon elese nberu ni bi ti ko tin si eru sugbon ere di iberu awon ni gbagbo. And in Proverbs 29:25 we are told the fear of man brings a snare. Iberu eniyan ni mu ikekun wa a snare is bondage o a a a ikekun ni o nko sinu ide a snare means a net where you are tied up and you are never able to make forward movement into victory ikekun o je o tumo si awon ni bi ti ni bi ti ha eniyan ma ti ko si le tesi waju ni isegun i say chapter 51 verse 12 iwe i say ori kokan le ni adota ese keji la i say 51 verse 12 i say ori kokan li la adota ese keji la ah even i i am he that comforts you who art thou that shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die and of the son of man which shall be which shall be made as grass emi ani emi ni eni tin tun yin ninu ta ni wo ti wo o fi beru eniyan ti yoku ati omo eniyan ti a se bi koriko and thou forgettest the lord thy maker that has stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and as feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy and where is the fury of the oppressor ti wo si gbagbe oluwa eleda re ti o ti na awon orun ti o si ti fi ipile aye sole ti wo si ti nberu ni gbagbo gbo lojojumo nitori irunu anini lara ni bi eni pe o ti mura lati panirun nibo ni irunu anini lara na ha gbe wa they feared and they forgot god won beru won si ba gbe olorun that's the reason they could not get into the land of kena ere ri ti won ko file ede ile kena ni and you wonder today why some people are not able to get the promises of god in their lives o si ya o lenu ere ri ti awon elomiran ko file igba ile ri olorun ninu aye won you wonder today why victory is far away from you o ya o lenu ere ri ti isegun fi jina rere si o because you find it to take decision nitori pe o o ni ola lati se ipinu you have the problem of indecision in marriage o ni wahala ti se ipinu ninu igbe in decision in business okole se ipinu ninu ise in decision in educational endeavor or ambition okole se ipinu ninu igbiyanju ati kawe in decision in your spiritual life okole se ipinu ni party emi you are plagued with in decision in everything that you lay your hand upon everything you think about aja kala run bo ninu ti se ipinu ninu nkan to ba nfe si ati nkan to ba fe da wole why are you undecided ise ti o ko file se ipinu because of fear nitori eru the fear of suppose it's a mistake eru eru pe to ba ji asise ni nkan suppose 
God forsakes me. Suppose I want to take this right step and then eventually it doesn't work out right. Suppose men and women begin to make fun of me. Number one, what defeats people is their mental attitude. They are sort of walking by sight. And number two is the fear of man that ties them up in a snare and they are never able to make progress. Let's come to number three. In Numbers chapter 13, these are the people that never got to the land of Canaan. They missed the victory, they missed it for life, they never got it. And in Numbers chapter 13, verse 32, and they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land uh, through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth of the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. And we saw the giants there, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. That's unbelief. Once we were in their sight, Ti won ti se ti won ti se Israeli wi pe ile na ti a wa laja lati se ami re ile ti mu awon eniyan re je ni ati gbogbo eniyan ti awari ninu re je eniyan ti o si gbonle ati ni be ile a wa gbe ri awon omiran awon manaki to ti inu awon omiran wa a wa si da be elenga le oju ara wa be ile a wa si ri le oju won do you know people do you know people who close themselves with unbelief nje ma won ti o nfi aigbagbo se aso ibura fun ra won it appears every day they are drinking the water of unbelief eh o da be ni pe omi aigbagbo ni won mu lojo ju the food of unbelief they are closed with some belief. Every blood in, in their vessel, every every drop of blood in their vessel is just made of unbelief. They talk unbelief. They walk unbelief. They see unbelief. They accept unbelief. Even the very atmosphere around them, the attitude and the air around them is all of unbelief. And in their vocabulary, Every time you record what they are saying, if possible, you will find impossible. And they will say, Oh, it's impossible. Every time you tell her something, the first thing she will say, It's impossible. Before she thinks, unbelief is in her mental attitude, it's impossible. Will you be able to sell impossible? Will you be able to get pregnant and have child? Impossible. Will you be able to lay your hand on a particular business? Impossible. Will you like to go home and see our parents? Impossible. What do you think of coming to fellowship? Impossible. What do you think of reading Bible? Impossible. How about praying about your condition to God? Impossible. How about taking care of your children? Impossible. Would you want to wash your clothes? and iron them this coming Saturday, impossible. How about being happy a few times and smiling and, and laughing at home and being yourself, impossible. How about planning to progress in your business, just put capital in this area of business, impossible. How about praying about marriage to brother so and so, impossible. Every Everything in their lives, they end up and they start and they think impossibility. Look at 2 Kings chapter 7. Verse 2. Verse 2. Verse 2. Look at 2 Kings chapter 7. I'm reading from verse 1. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Nibba na ne Elisha wipe e boro luwa ba yile luwa wi ni wo yo la le outa osuwa osuwa ye fun kikuna kan ni shekel kan ni enu bode Samaria. Verse two. S.K.G. Then a Lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would do, would make windows in heaven, might this sin be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shall not eat thereof. Nibba na ni joye kan li awen ito ban fiara ti 
eh ti da ni ni olorun le ohun o si wi pe ki yesi bi oluwa bi oluwa ti le si fere se le orun nkan yi ha le ri be o n si wi pe ki yesi iwo ofi oju re ri sugbon iwo ki yo je ninu re let's come back to numbers chapter 13 e je ki a pada sinu we numero let's see the things that stop these people from getting into the victory ki ari ohun ti ko je ki awon eniwon ide inu isegun na in that them from enjoying the victory ti o di won lowo lati gbadun isegun na number 1 is the wrong mental attitude thinking of the wrong sin every time not setting the promised goal before them every time e ki ni eyi ni pe ki won ma ro ninu nipa ti o lodi awon ti ki ti ko ba ife olorun mu ki won le ki won ma le ma ro ninu lori awon ile pati ati gbe kai waju Number two, they are bound with fear of man. Number three, everything about them and within them and surrounding them is made of unbelief. Number four, and surely you have met this before. This is discouragement. Discouragement. Agara. Giving up too soon. Do you know I had a true story? This is a true story. A man was expecting in a check from somewhere so that he'll be able to pay a particular debt that he owes and he expected the check and the check didn't come and you know he got so discouraged he thought of the shame that will come if he did not pay the debt no money to pay house rent no money to buy food that he had got from a people and because of that he expected this money to come the money did not come you know what he did is a true story he killed himself he just turned on the gas and the gas killed him and he saw his dead body that day and then the, the male came in the second day after he died male male and they checked the box the post office box in front of their house you know the only letter they saw there the check he was expecting because and he killed himself just yesterday the check came in the second day and because of discouragement he had died and because of discouragement many people give up too soon and they see the enemy coming they give up too soon they, they are sick and they give up too soon a little problem comes to them they give up too soon Soon. and discouragement does not allow them to ever get into the land of victory that God has promised them look at verses 31 to 33 numbers 13 but the men that went up with him said we be not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we that's the voice of discouragement talking and they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth of the, the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that saw that we saw in it are men of great stature. <laughs> And, and there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were, so we were in their sight. Ati ni be li awa gbe ri awon omiran awon manaki ti o ti inu awon omiran wa awa si dabi elenga li oju ara wa be li awa si li oju won Deuteronomy chapter 1 Deuteronomy ori kini We read in there from verse 22 An ka se keji li logun And ye came near unto me every one of you and said we will send men before us and they shall search out the land and bring us word again by what way we must go up and into what cities we shall call. But go you see to me why I say we pay. Yaki awa ki ouro eni olo si waju wa ki wa ki osi ni le na wo funwa ki wa ki osi mu ihe pada to wa wa ni ti ona ti a o bago kilo ati ti lu ti a o yosi. Verse twenty five. They took up the fruit of the land in their hands and brought it down to us and brought us word again and said it is a good land which the Lord our God does give us. 
won si mu ihin pada fun wa wa won si wi pe ile ti oluwa olorun wa fi fun wa ile rere ni notwithstanding ye would not go up but rebelled against the commandment of the lord your god sugbon eyin ko fe goke lo eyin si sote si ase oluwa olorun yin in verse 28 whither shall we go up our brethren have discouraged our hearts saying the people is greater and taller than we the cities are great and walled to heaven and moreover we have seen the sons of anakims there ese keji din logbon ni bo li awa ogbo awa ogbe boke lo awon arakunrin wa ti daya fu wa wi pe awon eniyan na si gbon le ju wa lo ilu won to bi a si mo di won ka orun a si mo di won kan orun pelu pelu awa ri awon ma anaki ni be now discouragement is what uh, you know makes people not to be able to get their victory agara ni ki je ki awon eniyan ki o ba isegun won you know in their marriage they say well i have given up that man uh, will never be a good husband to me ninu igbe yawo won a wi pe gbogbo re ti sun won o okunrin ni ko ti le le je okunrin daradara that woman will never cooperate and be obedient or submissive i've given up o birin ni ko le fo so opo ko si ni iteri ba pelu mi mo ti ko ti sun mi the ideal marriage that god has planned for you ni you are never able to get it because of discouragement igbe yawo re re ti olorun si ti gbero re fun o ko le ri igba ni tori agara to da o come back to numbers chapter 14 pada sinu we numero ori keta ori keni la i'm reading from verse 1 mo nka la tese ikini remember now walking by sat has come ran ti ni sisin pe ki a ma rin nipa ti a fojuri ti wole they were not keeping the promised goal before them won ko mu awon ile ri ti a ti pe ka waju won se they were thinking of the wrong thing every time about themselves and about their lives and about their neighbors eh kan ti o lodi won be sin ronu nipa re ni sisin won ronu nipa ti ara won nipa yi ka won ati nipa awon ti number 2 remember that fear of man will bind you will snare will ensnare you and you will not be able to make progress towards the victory you want rati pe ibero eniyan yo ko yo ko sinu igbe kun o ko sinu ite si waju lo sinu isegun ite ati pe ka waju le if your language is a language of impossibility the language of unbelief how can you ever make it and have victory bi e dere ba je ede aigbagbo ba oni wa se le ni isegun ninu aye re you know if you give up too soon you always discouraged with a little problem you just give up and you say there is no hope bi nkan ba tete nso ti agara ba si tete nda ti o wi pe e ngo ko si re ti mo ba oni wa se tesi waju how will you be able to get victory now the last thing i want to talk about is the inability to handle criticism e o e ke o to ke ti mo si fe so ni pare o ni ki eyan mo bi ati n doju ko ibo inu atelu ni now if you are not able to handle criticism in your life you'll never make it bi o ba mo bi wa se le doju ko ki won abo inu atelu e o ko le yori i mean everybody is criticized every day of his life gbogbo eyan la n be inu atelu ninu gbogbo oju aye teacher criticizes the student awon awon oluko won ma n be inu atelu awon le criticizes the teacher awon le we be inu atelu awon oluko the preachers criticize Criticize the congregation. I want you to ask me about the attendance. Members of the congregation they criticize the preacher. I want I want my young man to tell you. And the parents criticize their children. I want you to tell you. Children criticize their parents. I want my man to tell you. Wives criticize their husbands. I want your man to tell you. Husbands criticize their their wives. I want my man to tell you. People criticize the government. I want your man to tell you. The government criticizes the people. I want your man to tell you. Strangers criticize neighbors. I want your man to tell you. Friends criticize friends. I want your man to tell you. benu atelu ara won this is him everywhere benu atelu n benu in the village in the office in the school in the family in the home everywhere there is criticism ni abule ni bi ise ni oju ona ni bi gbogbo ibi gbogbo ibi gbogbo ni benu atelu ni wa and you have been criticized before as it benu atelu ori my people that you didn't expect to criticize you la todo awon ti o ko lero ki won le benu atelu o and if you are not able to handle criticism bi o ko ba si mo bi wa se bu wa se doju ija ko benu atelu ni you will never be able to succeed in life o ko ni le sase yo se criticism is coming i benu atelu ni nbo i know it has come to you before come on, go to debori and more will still come we are living in a world where people are judging other people opolopo re si nbo wa bo nitori pe an gbe ninu aye ni bi ti awon eyan tin da awon elomiran lejo if you can't handle that just forget victory bi o ko ba le doju doju ko yi iwo gbagbe isegun numbers chapter 14 numero ori kerin la from verse 1 and all you. the congregation lifted up their voice and cried and the, and the people wept that night gbogbo ijo gbogbo ijo si gbe ohun won soke won si ke won si na awon eniyan si sokun li oru na and all the children of israel murmured against moses and against aaron gbogbo awon israel si nkun si moses ati aaron and the whole congregation said unto them would god were died in the land of egypt or would 
God were died in this wilderness. I want you to notice two people there. The congregation criticizing. Do you know that the people who criticize never get victory? Check up in all your Bible. The people that criticize and never repent of it, they never get victory. All these people criticized Moses. Were able to get the victory. No, they were not able to get the victory. When you find in a single life walking by side, wrong thinking, bad talking, fear of man, unbelief, discouragement, and criticism, victory will be far, far away. But now let us look at Moses and Aaron. Did they get there? No, sir. Why didn't they get there? It's another time that they were criticized. There was no water. And the children of Israel, they did it again. They criticized them again. And they reacted the wrong way to criticism. They didn't make it. If you don't know how to face criticism, in your marriage, your mother-in-law will criticize you for marrying their son. Your mother-in-law will criticize you for marrying their daughter. In the place of God, they'll criticize you. In the taxi, they'll criticize you. You better make up your mind. Everywhere you go, in this Lagos, in this country, in this world, you will be criticized every week of your life. If you are happy, they criticize you. They say, is he the only one in Lagos? If you are unhappy, they criticize you. They say, what's making him suffer? We see the only man having problem in the world. If you are healthy, they criticize you. Hey, he'll be healthy. He doesn't do the type of difficult work we do. If you are sick, they criticize you. All the time he's going to hospital. Is he the only one in Nigeria? If you are not married, they criticize you. She wants to become a two-seller before she gets married. If you get married and you have a happy home, oh, he's proud, he's, uh, he's, you know, he's uh, telling us that he has a happy marriage. What does he have? Oh, he's a happy man. If you don't have children, they criticize you. Oh, you are a little child. If you have children, they, they say the children are throwing, throwing stones on our car. The, the children will not, uh, not let us rest. <laughs> If you are eating, if you are eating and you are lean, they say this man is always eating. You never see the fruit of the eating in his body. If you are eating and you are fat, they criticize you. They say this man does not have sex. Why is he fat like this? If you can't handle criticism, you will never make it. Everybody will criticize you. Make up your mind, let them say. Any, anytime anybody say, just let them say. They say you are bad, let them say. You are good, let them say. Ah, he's not, a, he's not doing well, let them say. Be joyful all your life. Refuse fear of man. Refuse walking by side. Drop the unbelief in your life. I the drop the discouragement in your life. I know how to handle discourage me how to handle criticism and success will be for you the, the promises of God will be fulfilled you have a happy joyful life these are the five enemies of victory run away from them there will be victory in your life rise up and let us pray